when you have a breast reduction, do you have to have implants too? No. I don't quite understand the question. No. When I mean, you have a breast reduction, do you have to have implants too? So I'm going to go with 90 something percent of breast reductions absolutely don't have implants too. But it is a thing. It's called a reduction augmentation. And I have to confess that the first time I heard that phrase, which is when I was already a consultant plastic surgeon, but the first time I heard the phrase reduction augmentation, yeah, you kind of my get... face was, uh? what? why would you do that? Um, but there actually, it, it's really, it's really quite a good operation. And after a, I'm going to say a cautious and slow start, I did more and more of them and they are awesome. They are good. They are for people who want that upper breast fullness, that upper, you know, check out my boobs cause they're awesome. Mm. That's what that, but they've already got breast tissue. They don't they want the implant look, but they totally don't need implants. Mm. So you've sort of first got to reduce them to give them less breast tissue and then put implants in and then close around it. And with that comes a lift as well. The breast reduction should be called a breast reduction and lift because it's, it's always got a lift. Um, so yeah, you can do it. But the question was, do you always have to do use implants with a breast reduction? No, no. And I, I have to say, I do like reusing all your breast tissue and making a breast lift work instead of breast implants. I like breast implants. I think there are, there are great breast implants out there and I, I'm having a bit of a love affair with a certain implant at the moment. <laughs> I know you are. I love it. It's so good. Most natural breast implant, they're Motiva. Motiva. I love them. Motiva Ergonomics and Ergo 2s. Oh my God, they are just brilliant. And they go in and they just feel, uh, it doesn't feel like you've got an implant in a breast. It feels like it's just a breast, um, which is what everyone's been asking for. And they're, they're very resistant to rippling. And I'm, I always say if you've got less than two centimeters of padding, Mm -hmm. um, you should probably go under the muscle. If you've got more than two centimeters, you can, you should, you can go above and avoid the risk of animation deformity. I'm creeping slowly in my head towards, you know, maybe those 19, 18 millimeter pinch thicknesses will be okay. <gasps> maybe there's some, and we'll, wow. we'll kind of just see how that goes. Cause they are intrinsically much less likely to ripple. They're great. Anyway, I, I have no objection to breast implants as I think that little aside would have indicated but if you don't need them you just don't need them mm. it's undoubtedly the case however good they are they just do unlock a chapter in your life of potential complications that you otherwise wouldn't have had mm. complications that relate to having breast implants that just don't exist if you don't have them things like capsular contracture they've got a very low risk but low is not zero implant rupture they've got a very low risk but low is not zero these rare rare cancers they're so low as to be astronomically low and almost not worth talking about but we do have to talk about them um and they could happen and that could happen is not there if you just don't have the so if you really have enough breast tissue i like nothing more than just to and it it is my, you know it's it's being a plastic surgeon plastic surgeons when i first started in plastic surgery plastic surgery was described to me as spare parts surgery oh wow have you heard me say that? No. Nope. Spare part surgery. It's, it's where you, you take bits from one place and you move them to another. And you might completely detach them and move them. But more often you'll just relocate them or twist them or pedicle them or rotate them or whatever it may be. Spare part surgery. And what better spare part is there for someone who wants perky uplifted breasts than the droopy breast that you don't oh, want to I see anymore. what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. I so you, re no, you reuse the droopy bits. Perfect and make them into something you love. Yeah. It's it's upcycling at its best. Yep. Right? We are the upcyclers of the surgery world. Hence the vegan. Hence the vegan boob job. And in a vegan boob job, what are we doing? We're moving breast from where you don't want it, putting it to where you do. And on top of that, we're moving fat from where you don't want it in your body and putting it to where, where you do in your breast. And it's, there is no implant. And there's no implant. And it's what more perfect operation is there than that? And you get beautiful bosoms at the end of it. It's Sign just... me up. Right. <laughs>